How's your day going? Ulan Danu uh, Temple. Did I say that right? It's pouring rain, unfortunately. What do you think? Pretty nice, eh? Considered holy water, and you can get get a blessing. In Bali, there are temples everywhere, but the main temples are a must-see. Getting anywhere in Bali takes a long time, so make sure you leave early so you can see as many temples as possible. The first must-see temple is Ulan Danu. And it's a Ulan Danu uh, temple. Did I say that right? And it's raining. Let's try and wait it out. So hopefully we get to see it. If not, yeah. know. we have umbrellas though. Ulan Danu is a major Hindu temple which resides on Lake Bratton in the mountains near Bedugal. The temple consists of four sacred buildings devoted to the Hindu gods Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Lift your, lift your umbrella so the, the, the people get there. You go, see? That's a beautiful temple, a beautiful lake, and a ginormous volcano that you can see back there in the rain. Can't see it. <laughs> Between temples, don't forget to stop and meet interesting people and animals. We're at a random stop at the side of the road and a guy has a huge bat that you can see behind me. He's got a python snake and an iguana and my daughter is not afraid of anything so she wants that thing on her and it's like freaking the heck out of me. You're petting a snake. Yeah. Oh my god. That is so poisonous. It's not poisonous boss, this can't find snake. I'm holding a snake. Oh my god. Put it on your neck. No, I'm not putting it on How my neck. How about your arm? I like the color of it, yeah. but I don't want this anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Come, come, come. Where are you guys very from? Happy. He's very happy. Oh, really? He's squeezing tight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey, back there is the Bali Haunted Hotel. It's abandoned. So we're going to go stay there tonight? <laughs> no, we're not. Not? Oh. Don't want to be scared by no, ghosts? No, I don't like that. All right. <laughs> Next must see temple is the Elephant Cave Temple. Built in the 9th century, it served as a sanctuary. We're entering the Elephant Temple and I get to wear a sarong. Woohoo! What do you think? Pretty nice, eh? Although the exact origins of the cave are uncertain, it is believed to have been built as a place for spiritual meditation. The cave contains both Hindu and Buddhist imagery. This is really cool. We're inside, it's so humid in here. It's hot. Normally in caves, I find it really cool. And, um, it's beautiful, they meditate in here. It's, it's pretty awesome. You come to the Elephant Cave, temple. Legend says the cave was used as a sanctuary by Hindu priests who dug the cave entirely by hand. Much of this temple still remains unexplored with piles of relics laid out in an adjoining garden. Three days, we would eat an entire cake. And you come on, you have to eat this. Yeah. Eat, 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 eat. And then yeah. both of us went. Yeah. yeah, we both got really fat when we met each other. <laughs> Explain it how when we met, she used to uh, make me cake every two or three days. And we were in our 20s and we both gained like 50 pounds from eating cake. <laughs> so don't make your boyfriend cake if you're in your 20s, if you want him to be fit because it took me about four years to get that off. This temple is located in Beldula village, just six kilometers from Ubud. All gotta have a sleep, you know? Siesta. He's tired, siesta. It's 
hot today in Bali. Sweating up a storm. Going to the monkey temple. Yes. Gonna see some of fam Jaden's family. And maybe uh, he'll recognize them. And your family and Mayel's family. She's the monkey family. too. The Ubin Monkey Forest is the sanctuary and natural habitat of the Balinese long-tailed monkey. Over 1,000 monkeys live here. Somebody's excited to see their relatives. <laughs> you may be concerned of getting bit, but if you don't panic, they'll just check you out and leave you alone. My buddy Steve came here years back and uh, he got bit. So hopefully I don't do the same thing. I'll, I'll learn from his mistakes, even though he didn't tell me what he did. Steve, how did you let one bite you? Like, come on. Yeah, Steve. Look, there's rules. All you had to do was read them and you won't get bit. Approximately 10 to 15,000 people visit every month. What do you think of these monkeys? Too many of anything is kind of creepy to me. There's a lot of them here. <laughs> I like them. Well, there we go. It also consists of 186 species of plants and trees. Yeah, they got lots of beard on them like me. I wonder if they shave. They have they a shave? mohawk too. I they think you should get, get a haircut. Hairstyle. The hairstyles. If you hit 10,000 subscribers, you gotta get that 10, mohawk. 10,000 subscribers are gonna look like a monkey. Those monkeys got a pretty good life, eh? They just sit around and eat all day. Yeah. No Fortnite though. Maybe they have different games like spray poop on themselves. Daddy, look at the big one right there, Liz. She's standing still. That's super cute. Oh, he's fat. That's named super cute. No, he gets old. Come to a monkey temple and the kids look at fish. Oh, that scared me. He, oh, he, he wants to get at you. How you doing? How's your day going? Oh. Where is he? There you are. How you doing? Oh, Dad. You going through my pocket? That's my buddy there. Are you my buddy? Nope. I keep trying to make friends here, but they just, they just don't want to be my friend. Next must-see temple is Turta Ampol. Cover them up. The statue? A priest. They always high cover priest. them. A high priest. Oh. oh. The crown and okay. Holding the holy water. Oh. Okay. oh. The holy water. Yeah. The priest. High priest. What do you know? I know that. I learned something today. Now, that is like three times the size of my head, and that's called jackfruit. In Bali, when you visit temples, you are required to wear a sarong, and women have to cover their shoulders. It's all bamboo? That's so cool. Turta Ampol is a Hindu Balinese water temple. There is an initial pool filled with fish you can feed. The Big Fat Fred. Oh, that's Big Fat Fred. He came here. He by five? He swam here. It's Tell me a little bit about this place. This is the Turta Ampol water temple. and. The water comes from the ground and you can go in and it's um, considered holy water and you can get get a blessing. Are you going to get blessed? I don't know yet. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Neither one of us want to get wet. <laughs> Alright, go get 10 years younger. <laughs> Tarta and Pol is famous for its holy spring water where Balinese Hindus go for ritual purification. That water is coming up from the, under the ground. Did you see it? It's a volcano. Is it a volcano? No. Oh. I thought he knew. It doesn't. I don't know where it's coming from either. We highly recommend you hire a driver to take you around. Let's go. If you're looking for a driver, we recommend Wira, who is amazing. His contact information will be in the description below. We found ourselves a, a Luat. A Luat? Yeah. It's a uh, sleeping. It's Luwak coffee. These little guys eat coffee beans, poop them out, and they make coffee. Oh. Shall we try it? Uh, you can. I'm going to try the Luwak espresso. Coffee from that animal's bum. Yep, they eat the beans, they poop it out, and they make coffee. So here we go. Cheers, trick. everybody. <laughs> it tastes like any other espresso, honestly. We got a friend. Who's your friend? Momo? 
Momo, is that Momo? If you're going to Bali, make sure you visit these temples. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more fun videos. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in.